Welcome back to this edition of Mariners TV. I'm Dominique Vasquez. In this edition, we'll be going over events that happens in April. With that being said, let's get started. This is two years of work compiled into 14 huge pieces, literally huge, they're life size. Um, so it's it's really rewarding knowing that everything paid off, everything turned out the way I needed it to, and I'm really happy with the end product. This is a project that it reflects upon on society and in judgment okay. as a form of, of graffiti and street art. My project here was to create a concept for a field game and work from it. The reason I wanted to do this was to get an idea of how game creators feel when, when they decide to create projects like this for the general public. So ever since I was a little tiny baby, I have been infatuated with fashion and art. And for my project, I wanted to bring together the urban street art with high fashion and really go in depth about uh, past collaborations between uh, artists such as uh, Piet Mondrian or designers as Yves Saint Laurent and for Anna Winter, like she's my, my idol and I pretty much made her the focal point of my whole project and uh, what she's done with the fashion world has just blown people away and I took that as inspiration. The point of my project was in order to um, use music in order to alleviate uh, symptoms of such as PTSD or just stress overall. Uh, being that something like PTSD can bring you back to a stressful situation, using VR is putting you in a virtual stressful situation and the music that's playing is the music that I wrote and it, it, to try to disassociate the brain from that stressful situation. It is a claymation that I made, or clay animation, stop motion animation I made about myself and I guess emotions I felt or thought of, and then uh, materialized them into something else and just told a story with them. This is my capstone. It's called Bridging the Gap. It was an inspiration on me. I came upon an article over the summer and it was about the pay gap in Hollywood. And so my inspiration was to interview women in the industry that had an effect on the pay gap and gender discrimination. And I wanted to bring an awareness to this issue. Uh, my capstone is a documentation of the flower cycle of a medical marijuana plant. I wanted to do this because I wanted to kind of show the differences in the natural life cycle and kind of break some of the stigmatism behind medical marijuana use and yeah. Pretty much I'm living in a house near campus. Uh, the owner of the house is a veterinarian. We got into a conversation about pets and uh, his profession came up. And then we were just talking about like the bond people have with their pets, whether it be a cat, dog, a fish. And we talked about how you develop that relationship, how important it is to understand the, I would say the importance of being a veterinarian. Uh, a lot of medical shows focus on like, you know, more of a human to human connection rather than a human to animal connection. And uh, that's where the idea came from. So my project's called Passions of the Eyes of an Athlete. It's a photography based project. Um, I 
When I created it, I overlaid images in Photoshop to create a story for my audience so that not just one image was telling it, it was multiple images because a lot of athletes have more than one passion and I wanted to capture that. Some of them have passion of their family, work, and sports and I was just trying to capture all of those into one image. Well, my project is called Blades and Beetles and it's about uh, California hotshots who are like wildland firefighters that like fight fires out in the mountains. Like everybody sees like the city firefighters in the red trucks, but these are the guys in the green trucks right here and like they're up in the mountains doing like, they're out there for about 12, 13 days at a time like doing, um, doing hard fire work during the summer. So I gave my friend Brad Johnson, who's a California hotshot, I gave him my GoPro for the, for the fire season and he got to capture a couple months worth of um, fire footage in the California wildfires that we had last summer. And that concludes our episode of Mariners TV. Congratulations to all the seniors, and we hope that you're successful in your endeavors. For everyone else, we hope to see you back in August 2017.